Now time for Who Owns Kenya. And on Who Owns Kenya tonight, we feature industrialist Dr. Manu Chandaria, who runs the Comcraft Group. Now, Manilal Premchad Chandaria rose from humble beginnings in downtown Nairobi to take over the family business, turning it into a multinational conglomerate that has spread its wings across 40 countries in all six continents. Now, beyond Africa, the business has presence in the United Kingdom, in Canada, Australia, Switzerland, and India as well. Dr. Manu Chandaria, who is more widely associated with iron sheet manufacturing firm Mabati Rolling Mills, has interests in several local and regional manufacturing sectors. So let's take a look at his interests via the Comcraft Group, with which he chairs. Now, the crown jewel of the empire on the local scene is Mabati Rolling Mills, which is under the Safal Group. The Safal Group is an international steel manufacturing and processing company with operations in 11 African countries, including South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Malawi, and Zambia, among others. Now, Mabati Rolling Mills controls the lion's share of the local steel and roofing industry. Sector stakeholders estimate that it controls over 50% of the local roofing industry with a wide array of products. Second on the list is Kalu Works Kenya Limited, a manufacturer of household items, including pots and pans and other utensils. Kalu Works, which ironically came into being in 1929, the same year that M Dr. Manu Chandaria was born, holds a valued position in the Comcraft Group, being the company's first successful venture. Through Comcraft, Dr. Chandaria's other interests in Kenya include Booth Manufacturing Africa Limited and Elson Plastics of Kenya Limited, among other companies. Chandaria's Comcraft also owns a 40% stake in a multi-billion dollar Indian steel giant through Spicker Investments Limited of Mauritius. Comcraft's list of companies is inexhaustible, with a group operating over 200 manufacturing plants across the globe. Now, this is done through its investment arms, Comcraft Services Limited, Comcraft Canada Limited, Comcraft Asia Pacific Private Limited, and Comcraft Kenya Limited. Dr. Manu Chandaria is, however, more known for his actions as a philanthropist through the Chandaria Foundation, which he runs alongside his wife, Aruna Chandaria. The Chandaria Foundation is estimated to have donated over half a billion shillings to various charitable projects in the country and in the region as well. The most notable project, perhaps, came in 2012 when Dr. Chandaria donated $1.16 million, which at the time was about 100 million shillings, to Gertrude's Garden Children's Hospital for an ultra-modern facility to be named the Chandaria Medical Center in his honor. So, how much is Dr. Manu Chandaria worth? The Comcraft Group is worth a massive $2.5 billion, not million, billion US dollars equivalent to a staggering 217 billion Kenya shillings that's about a sixth of the national budget of the Republic of Kenya and just under half the country's GDP now although he's the chairman of Comcraft it's re really nearly impossible to place an actual value on Dr. Chandaria's share of the company why is this well, being a family-run business, Comcraft is owned by over 65 members of the Chandaria family spread right across the globe. According to both Forbes Africa and Forbes India, the sheer number of family members involved in ownership of Comcraft makes Dr. Chandaria's personal fortune unquantifiable. Manu is certainly all the same, one of the wealthiest Kenyan businessmen, with Comcraft employing over 40,000 people across 50 countries. Wow. Well, that brings us to our quote of the week. I think it's apt. We heed the words this week of Warren Buffett. And he said, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. <laughs>